In this video, let's see an application of the concept of area of triangle. The application one is collinearity of three points. Now we already know what do you mean by collinear points and we are going to see how is collinearity related to the area of triangle in this video. We'll also see a numerical problem on the same in this video as well. Right, now we know that if three points are given to us and those points lie on the same line, then we say that those points are collinear. That means if I have three points A, B, C and they can be written in the form of some coordinates say x1, y1, x2, y2 and last but not the least x3, y3 for the C. And I know that these points lie on the same straight line then I say that these points are collinear. Now being collinear actually does not mean anything else except what? Except being on the same straight line. And if they are on the same straight line, what can you conclude about area of this triangle? Actually no triangle is formed with these points. Since no triangle is formed with these points, the area would also not exist. It would be zero. So for collinear points, I write here for collinear points, what I have is the triangle's area, the area of triangle, which triangle formed by these three points, which is actually not there, right, is what? It is zero. This is what we are going to do. That means if you have been given three points and you have to check whether those points are collinear or not, just find out the area. If the area comes out to be zero, yes, they are collinear. If it is not coming out to be zero but some value, then they are not collinear. That is what you have to say. And when you know about this collinearity concept, let's see a numerical problem and example. I have been given in this example three points A, B and C and I have to check whether this first coordinate which is A, B plus C, the second thing which is B, C plus A and the third point which is C, A plus B here these three points are collinear or not i have to check that we have three coordinates given to us a b and c a has what a b plus c that means this is the x coordinate this is the y coordinate here it is b c plus a and here it is c a plus b you have to check whether it is collinear or not now we know that for collinearity we need to check first of all the area of triangle if the area of triangle is zero the points are collinear no triangle is there they are on the same line if it is not zero, they form a triangle. Let's see the formula. We understood that the formula is actually a determinant. You can always apply the formula if you know. If not, you can always solve it with the help of determinant. This was the formula that we actually saw with the help of determinant. So x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, x3, y3, 1. What you need to do is you need to put the values now. So half x1 is what? It is a. Understand the first coordinate is x1, this is not x2, this is y1. Again, this is your x2, this is your y2, this is your x3 and this is your y3. Now you have to carefully, correctly put the values. Do not confuse and put anything else in the place of any other thing. What is x1? It is a. What is y1? y1 is b plus c. Lastly, you have 1, right? Next is x2, y2, 1. What is x2? It is b. y2 is c plus a, then 1. Last but not the least, you have x3, y3, 1. What is x3? It is c. Here it is a plus b, it is 1. Now, what is left? You just need to evaluate this determinant. Either you solve it directly or you do some manipulation say this minus this and this minus this to make zeros that is what i'm going to do to ease my calculation i apply in r2 r2 minus r1 and in r3 what i'm going to apply is r3 minus r1 if you apply these things you know that these operations from the properties we studied do not change the value of determinants so you can safely apply those right so half is going to come outside and it becomes R2 minus R1, it is written over here, so it is B minus A, but firstly, no change in R1. R1 does not change, right? R2 and R3 are going to change. R2 is what? It is B minus A. 
then what is it c plus a minus b minus c c and minus c get cancelled so it is a minus b one is here again r3 minus r1 so it is c minus a carefully see this it is a plus b minus b minus c plus b minus b get cancelled so it is a minus c 1 minus 1 is 0 over here 1 minus 1 is 0 over here don't forget to put that now what is left is just simple evaluation simple evaluation along the third column will be beneficial because the third column has maximum number of zeros now it is plus minus plus or it is minus plus plus that we have to check since this element is positioned at the third column the first row so 3 plus 1 is 4 which is even so it is plus minus plus that we are going to follow now minus and plus even if there do not matter because these are zeros just forget it just take into consideration this one i will be solving the rest of the question here let's see it here so one is there but firstly we have half outside when you take into consideration this one you have to ignore this column you have to ignore the first row what is left let's see we are left with b minus a a minus b c minus a a minus c i again repeat what we have done we have basically taken into consideration this one this one is positioned at such a corner position that you have to ignore this column you have to ignore the first row you have to write just a sub determinant now what we are going to do is just cross multiply when you cross multiply either you cross multiply directly or again what you can do is to simplify your calculation take b minus a common b minus a common means here it is 1 here it is minus 1 because it is just the negative thing right take c minus a common again it is 1 minus 1 so that you can do that i'll be doing to just ease the calculation let me take b minus a common in this very step as well so if i take b minus a common i have 1 minus 1 left so i write here 1 minus 1 i have taken b minus a common similarly if i take c minus a common c minus a will come outside this is a minus c so it is again 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 b minus a is written over here i can just write c minus a also along with this so it is c minus a now what do you observe you observe that it is 1 minus 1 here it is 1 minus 1 here that means what that means you have identical rows and by the determinants property we studied we know that if we have identical rows or identical columns in a determinant the value of determinant is what it is zero so inside everything is zero zero multiplied by half or c minus a or anything does not matter so the value of the determinant is coming out to be what it is coming out to be zero and the question was to check whether these three points are collinear or not since the value of the determinant is zero so that means these three points lie on the same straight line no triangle is formed and so we say that these three points a b c of this numerical problem are actually collinear